What's the plan today, Russ? Well, the plan is to stay dry after yesterday. We got absolutely drenched on the Hawkesbury. Poured down all morning, blew a gale, but today's a much nicer looking day. So I think we'll go and uh, do something that is probably my specialty, and that's brim. So we're going to try and find the gnarliest structure we can and see if we can find the gnarliest brim we can. But I love Sydney. It's just such a picturesque backdrop and there's so much structure to fish. So you can literally be casting at something all day, which is, which is what I love. So you get a few perfect new little brim colours and shapes there that I'm pretty keen to try out. So we've got a big box of goodies up the front there to test today. We've got some new gulp shapes, some new gulp colours. So pretty keen to try out this new two and a half inch gulp grub. I've seen a lot of grubs and this is the best swimming gulp that I've ever seen. The tail on this thing is absolutely unreal. So the water's cold, the weather's still a bit cold. So these fish are going to be a little bit lethargic, I think. And it's been a few years since I've been here. So we'll have to find them, but once I find them, I'm pretty sure they're going to eat those gulps. So they'll never let me down in the past. Just let him sink down. Let that little thin tail do its thing. One straight off that pole. Let that grub sink right down beside that pole. These things will swim at the slowest speeds. They've got such a thin tail. There's a little brim, second cast on Sydney Harbour. In he comes. They're still where I left him about five years ago. He's not a giant, but he's a nice little fish to start. I love about Sydney when they're actually chilling like, and you watch them just sitting on the poles like that. You just flick to them, watch them follow it down and then just wrestle with them. They're all eating a deep though when I let it sink right down in there. He's on the grub. How's the audience? <laughs> Let it sink down. Watch the line for that tick. That's the good thing about gulps is you don't have to be in constant contact with it. You know that if they are gonna eat that, they're not gonna spit it straight back out. So you just let that sink right down through the water column. You really don't have to do a great deal. Just a natural sink. I can see one up under there, I reckon. That, that's a good fish. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> I told you. He's a big dog. I feel like you just have to do nothing until they eat it like that. <laughs> it is such a timid bite. I'll just throw that gulp out and just let it sink right down to the bottom. And that's always the advantage with gulps. Super tough. Barometer's crashed, but you can still get nice fish like that. So just threw that little crabby into that wharf there. I was just saying to the boys, I pretty much gotta just throw that in and not do anything with it. So sometimes less is more. You move that lure around too much when they're really not in the mood, and they're just gonna get a bit spooked. He's a nice fat little fish. Oh, look at that water. They're gonna be on there for sure. Gotta be. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yes. That's the one I've been chasing. That's what you love about all that 
nasty structure. It's just home to these big brawlers. And there is so much of this nasty structure in Sydney Harbour. That's what makes it such a cool fishery. It's been tough, but this no, I keep getting that gulp in there. Look at that. That's uh, over a kilo of big, fat Sydney brawler. <laughs> he is a pig. Ready, guys? Yeah, oh, that's why I use a net. <laughs> Have a look at that thing. Such a beautifully conditioned big Sydney Harbour brim. I'd say that thing's up around that 1.4, 1.5 kilo mark. He is so tall and so thick through the body, really powerful. So what we're doing here, we're just fishing all this exposed structure on the low tide. And the number one lure for me for many, many years has been the gulp crabby. This thing has won me so many tournaments and got me out of so many sticky situations. But I know if I just keep sticking at it, this guy put in the right spot is always going to get me the bite. So that's the confidence that I've had in gulp for close to 20 years now in tournament fishing. We don't get to choose the weather. We don't get to choose the situation. So quite often you come out here and the fishing is tough and you do have to work for it. So putting in thousands of casts. Having the confidence that the lure you've got on is so essential. Now we've got some awesome new colours here we're testing this weekend. This is an old favourite, of course, in the camo. We've got some cool little translucent colours. As we push down into the front end of this section where the water's clear, we're going to go to them where those fish are a little bit fussy. So anyway, we'll get this guy back and we'll see if we can get a couple more. Love coming down to Sydney Harbour. Oh, look at these big grim up here underneath this boat. I love this style of fishing. It's so visual, it's so exciting because getting the cast in there is one thing, hooking the fish is another thing. And then the fun starts when you actually get that bite. We've got gnarly structure all the way around us here. We've got ropes and poles and, and just big fish hang around it. So don't be scared to come in here. You might get snagged a few times. That's all part of it. but. Get your casting accuracy right. Get down around some of this structure here. It's really a year round thing. There's a bite there. Oh, there's a bite there now. It's really like a year round thing. These fish will be on this structure all throughout this whole system from the top of Parramatta River all the way down to Manly, basically all year round. So it doesn't matter what system you're in. Structure fishing is just fun. Fish. Oh, I need a net for him. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. There's another awesome specimen. He's got some cool colours on this fish. So bronze. He's got those real dark colours. He's obviously been living right up in this structure and in the weed, but we're just down the front of the system here and notice heaps of bait fish in the water. So. Of course, the first thing you try and do is match what they're going to be feeding on. So going to the three inch minnow, always been a favorite shape of mine, but this is a new color here in the green haze fleck. Really cool color for this clear water. So it's got those nice translucent look about it. Just enough sparkle to get their attention. So certainly got this guy's attention and he's another cracking fish. There we have it, there's the results of another awesome day on Sydney Harbour. I love this place, love coming down here this time of year, throwing around some of my favourite gulps. Lucky enough, we had a few of the new colours and the new shapes. Everything's worked out there today. Look at these things, that guy is an absolute tank. We're going to send him back, he's a big old fish. See you later fellas. Come and see me again. Woo. Love it. Love it.